everyone, this is Amy with Key Delicious Life. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be making something simple, um, but just something I've been wanting to try. And I got in this amazing Chalk Zero Maple Syrup. It's super thick. And so I really wanted to make a French toast chaffle. So let's get started. For those of you that are new to my channel, I do a lot of chaffle recipes. I have a playlist with over 50 different amazing, delicious chaffles, so be sure to check that out. I'll put that up in the cards on the screen. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up to help my channel to continue to grow. So let's get started on this chaffle. We're gonna be making my white bread chaffle, which is super popular. It makes amazing sandwich bread. It makes amazing dessert chaffles. You could, it has so many purposes, so many uses. So I'm gonna turn it into French toast. So let's get started. So in my bowl, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of egg whites, one teaspoon of mayonnaise, pinch of pink Himalayan salt, just about a pinch or two of baking powder, two tablespoons of almond flour. I like to put just a pinch of uh, sweetener in just to kind of give it a sweeter, more bread-like taste. I will list my original white bread chaffle recipe um, for you guys to go check that out. And I'm just going to make this really quick, but for the full recipe on the white bread chaffle, please be sure to check that video out. So we're basically just going to make the white bread chaffle, then we're going to go ahead and turn it into French toast. I'm going to take one tablespoon of cream cheese. Okay, so for our French toast batter, I have that my chaffle recipe made three chaffles, white bread chaffles. Here they are. And these are nice and chewy and they're a really good consistency for a white bread French toast. So I'm going to use a little bit of heavy cream, just like a traditional French toast. So I'm going to do a teaspoon of pure vanilla. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of monk fruit sweetener, maybe a ha one and a half teaspoon. I want it to be nice and sweet. And then I'm just going to generously add in some cinnamon here. So just do as much or as little as you like. I like to put quite a bit. And we're going to mix this all up really, really well. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of egg whites. And you could probably use a whole egg here and it would be fine too. So just a traditional French toast mixture. And now we're gonna go over to the stove top and we're going to make our French toast. All right, so I'm just gonna heat up my pan with some butter. You could use bacon grease if you wanted to. I'm gonna be using butter here. All right, so over medium heat, I'm going to melt some butter. So I've got my batter and I've got my chaffles here, and I'm just going to dip those and get them in the pan. Get my butter spread all around. So I'm just going to dip these use my fingers make a mess and we'll get those in last one all right we got those in I'm gonna go wash my hands and I will be right back so I'm gonna let these get nice and toasted on one side before I flip them and then we'll flip them on the other side and get them nice and toasty brown. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Oh, look how pretty and toasted that looks. Look at 
I like my French toast like a little toasty on the outside and nice and chewy on the inside. So I think that is going to be amazing. You could make up a bunch of white bread chaffles and freeze them and then have them ready to go for sandwiches, have them ready to go for your French toast for breakfast. Um, it's just super easy, definitely a game changer for keto. So I am so happy that I found the white bread chaffle. All right, I'm gonna let these brown up just a little bit more and then I will plate them up and we'll do a taste test and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's our three chaffles. We've got some beautiful butter melting. I'm gonna add some chalk zero maple syrup. The information for this will be down in the description box. I love Chalk Zero products. They're absolutely delicious. And let's put some thick syrup on. Oh, yum. That looks so delicious. And there's our French toast chaffles. You could also put some whipped topping on here, but I'm just going to dig in and try it just like it is. Let's get a little bit of butter over here. Get our butter melted all over this amazing yumminess. And here we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It tastes just like French toast. Just like I remember as a kid growing up. Absolutely amazing. See the bread like texture? The white bread chaffle is so wonderful. Oh, I love it. Yep, I'm going to be eating this for my breakfast with my Bones coffee. Oh, yes. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for today's chaffle. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch. And I hope you'll give it a try and let me know what you think. If you have any ideas or suggestions on how you improved it or tweaked it to your own liking, let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my other chaffles in my playlist. I hope you're all having an awesome week and staying safe and healthy. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Thank you.